Hey guys, today I have another video for my Cloth Diapering 101 series. I haven't done one of these videos in a while, but today I thought I would talk a little bit about cloth diaper accessories, so let's hop right in. And the first thing I wanna talk about today is butt paste, or uh, diaper rash cream, or whatever you wanna call it. My favorite one is the Burt's Bees Diaper Rash Ointment. It has 40% zinc oxide. There's a lot of stuff on the internet uh, kind of contradictory that's kinda of like confusing about zinc oxide. Some people say don't use it. Some people say it's fine. I use this stuff whenever there's a diaper rash. This is my number one go-to and it is super awesome. It'll clear anything up overnight unless it's like yeast or something stupid. But I love using that stuff and it is a super concentrated amount of zinc oxide and it will stain some diapers. Like some of my flats do have like white spots. It's just a white paste so when it stains it's just going to make it white and if your diapers are already white I don't see why that's such a big deal honestly. But I have never had any issues with repelling or any kind of buildup or any kind of problems with using this stuff. I've never found any issues with using zinc oxide except for the fact that it does stain white on some things. And I think it comes out after a few washes too because none of my diapers are like super duper stained. It's just like the first couple washes after having used something like this. Uh, sometimes you can kind of just see the white spot spot or like just like a section of the diaper but I don't feel like it like stains anything like forever so I don't see any issues with using a diaper cream like that some people would rather just use like coconut oil or olive oil or something very natural very basic but this is my favorite stuff so if the idea of using a cream does freak you out you can always use little fleece diaper liners this was honestly just a blanket that I got like at our first baby shower at our only baby shower <laughs> uh, that I cut up into strips it's just a super thin piece of fleece you can also buy actual cloth diaper liners on all the cloth diapering websites but you can also just go to Walmart get yourself a fleece blanket for literally like a dollar or two and chop it up and make some liners for yourself. I have been getting a few questions lately about whether or not I use liners. I have been using liners lately when Aaron had his yeast rash and if I put a ton of this stuff on sometimes I will put a liner on as well just because of the staining that this stuff can have. If you're super worried about what cream you're using just go ahead and use a liner it's not a big deal. But we don't regularly use liners. Just when there's a rash or a situation or if the babies just seem like they're kind of having a couple sensitive days or something, I'll use liners. I did use them in the beginning in the newborn days and the small baby days when my littlest was a tiny baby wearing cloth. I just felt like he had a little bit more sensitive skin then and then like like I said if he just has like a couple days where he's, his butt's just kind of looking irritated I'll use some liners but it's not an everyday thing. I used to always put them in our the nighttime diaper as well just for sensitivity issues since they're gonna be sitting in that diaper for such a prolonged period of time but anymore I, it's not like part of our regular routine now there also are disposable liners that are available on the market that you can just toss out and a lot of brands market them as flushable but Honestly, if you talk to anybody who has anything to do with sewage and like, and that part of like, you know, the city, it, it's not wise to be flushing those kinds of things. It's not wise to be flushing any kind of, even like flushable, like toilet wipes and stuff. That stuff isn't really meant to be flushed. So I, you can totally buy those kinds of items, but I would not recommend flushing them. Now liners can be a little helpful if you have pretty solid poos once your baby starts to get a little bit bigger. They can be easier to kind of spray off than a regular diaper situation but honestly I find it to just be one more thing to spray off because especially with Aaron his poo never just stays on this liner. It's like gotten on the liner and then it's gotten on the sides like over into the diaper and then it's gotten over the pad folded flat onto the cover so that makes three different items that I have to spray every time. So. For babies who have better poos than my babies, you might get away with just being able to spray your liner off, but I just find it to be one extra additional thing I need to spray out in the toilet, and so I don't find it to be like super helpful for like limiting the poo situation. Next thing I wanna talk about are wet bags. We have a bunch of small wet bags that we use on the go. It just has a you know one compartment for the dirty diapers. Maybe you could put a couple of clean diapers in this front pocket. But these are just like cheapy like Amazon. I don't even know. This is a 
Damero Damero brand and it's not like you can keep this stuff wet and this stuff dry it's not double layered or anything so like if there's something wet in here it's gonna make this pocket wet as well if it's like super saturated so I wouldn't use these for like trying to keep things separate and I wouldn't use them for like super duper saturated diapers I would definitely like double up on them like put put the super duper wet diaper inside of this and then put this whole thing inside of another wet bag we always have a couple of wet bags inside our diaper bag for like when we're out and about and we have to do a diaper change at the restaurant or wherever we are just throw it in there you can also totally just bring like plastic walmart bags with you and use those for your damp diapers or dirty diapers or whatever and throw it in there and then just dispose of it when you get home but I do like to have large wet bags. We live in a two story and we have diaper changing station upstairs in the boys room. And then we also have a diaper changing station down in the living room. And I like to throw the wet dirty diapers inside of a wet bag when they're downstairs. And we use a more like open container, like laundry basket situation upstairs. I just don't like having like the open laundry basket thing like right in the living room where everybody can see it. <laughs> so I prefer to use wet bags for downstairs. And I think they're really handy, like especially this buttons one, it is double layered on the main section here. So you can totally put clean diapers in here and wet diapers in here and they don't run through to each other. You don't get like all your clean diapers ruined by the wetness or the dampness that's in the main pocket. So this is actually a really nice bag for that purpose. But I liked to send this to the grandmas when I was still working and the grandmas were watching the boys. I would send all the clean diapers in this big section and they would just fill up this main pocket with all the dirty diapers for the day. Now I don't have any but they do also sell like pale liners that's kind of like a reusable trash bag that has a big elastic around the main part and you can like put it on top of like a laundry basket or whatever you're using for your dirty diaper holding section in the baby's room or whatever. I don't own any, own any of those but they do have it's just like I said it's like a reusable like pale liner that you can throw in there that's waterproof as well. Diaper sprayers, mine is from Baby Mojo's. It's just on Amazon. It's like 20, 25 bucks or so. I love my diaper sprayer. I know some people live without them and don't see what all the hype is about, but I love my diaper sprayer. We use it all the stinking time. It's the best. There are also things called spray pals, which kind of look like a, like what are those called? Like a clipboard with like uh, a situation like around it. It's almost like a trash can with a clipboard on it kind of. So it has a little clip that you can put the diaper in and then spray down like into the like trash can kind of hole over the toilet so that there's no splash or spray or situation going on with your spraying situation when you're trying to clean up a dirty diaper. We don't own one of those but I've definitely seen them about. I just think that they look a little bulky like I wouldn't want to I don't know how you store it in between diaper changes. Like if you have one bathroom that's like only designated for your diapers, I can see like that would be fine, but I just don't know where I would store it because it looks kind of big and bulky to like keep in a bathroom that like other guests and stuff are using. I would just kind of feel weird about where I would put this. <laughs> Boosters and doublers. This is a Green Mountain Diapers hemp insert size small. It's just a little extra bit of an insert you can throw into a diaper that's not quite holding as much pee as you would like it to. So it's just a little bit of a booster. It's just going to hold a little bit extra pee so that you can get through the day with your diaper. Uh, some diapers just don't hold as much as you need them to or sometimes maybe during a nap you might need a little extra in there. Boosters and doublers are just extra little material, extra little inserts. It's not like anything crazy thick or anything to just throw in there in a diaper to make it a little bit more absorbent. Snappies and Boingos. I don't own any Boingos, but I do have a Snappy here. And all you do is this is replacing your diaper pins. So you just like snap it on either side of the hips of the baby and then pull this down onto the like crotch section of the baby and it holds your folded up flat or fitted diaper or whatever all around baby so that it doesn't come off instead of using little pins on each hip. You can just use one of these guys. It has little claws on there that grab into the fabric. Some fabric works better than others for these, but they're super easy to use. Diaper dogs are these little like silicone looking, almost like, I don't even know how to describe them. They're like little mitts for your fingers that you can like hold a dirty diaper with while you're spraying it out or swishing it out in the toilet or whatever. So you don't have to actually like touch the diaper while you're dealing with a poo situation. I have a little diaper dog somewhere. The boys just use it as like a, 
like an alligator looking thing to like play with. I've never used it like actually for diapers. I have it somewhere in this house, but I don't know where it is. So it's just like a little mitt that like just goes over the tips of your fingers and you can hold onto your diaper and spray it out and not have to touch any situation, any poo or wetness or whatever it is that you're trying to avoid. Kind of a handy little thing. Wool dryer balls. Mine are all made by my mom, crocheted around a little ball. Some of them have wool inside. Some of them are just whatever kind of acrylic uh, yar yarn <laughs> that she used to like uh, put them all together. I don't know if wool is actually the like main component. Like I don't know if the wool is actually what's doing anything for the balls, for the dryer balls, but you shouldn't use like fabric softener sheets in with your diapers laundry in the dryer because the you know, the stuff that's on those sheets can make repelling issues where water doesn't like seep into the fabric very well. So using the little balls like these to kind of like make everything all fluff up in the dryer is really handy. Wipes, you're definitely going to need some wipes. I have a bunch of different kinds of wipes and I will leave a link down below to my review of all the different wipes that we use and what are my favorites and what I like for what. You will need approximately 1 million <laughs> in the newborn days and then after that, not so much, just a handful. Um, we could probably get away with like, we could honestly probably get away with like a dozen, maybe 20 wipes, but because we have two changing stations upstairs and downstairs, we have like a bunch of wipes, honestly. But in the newborn days, you do need a bunch of them because newborns poo like pretty much every diaper change. And so you're gonna need a lot more wipes during that time than you do like as they start getting bigger and they only poo like once a day. And along with that, you might want some diaper wash, diaper solution. You can also just totally use water on these guys. I did really like the Honest Company Soothing Bottom Wash uh, when we first bought it, but I just refill this with water, spray it on the wipes, and then use them as it is. You can either keep your wipes totally saturated inside of the little wipes container, or you can just spray them down each time you want to use them. I see the benefit of both. Um, if you're not, if maybe your baby doesn't poo a whole bunch, maybe you're not using these wipes very often, it might make you kind of like cringe <laughs> thinking about having them like just sitting in the diaper container soaking wet all the time. You might worry about like mold or something weird going on. I've honestly never had any issues with mold or anything weird going on with any of my wipes. They've all been perfectly fine living inside of a little container all wet. But you can also add in things like tea tree oil or like lavender essential oil, stuff like that to try and help like almost like a preserve, preserve, preserve preservative <laughs> in there to help them not have any kind of weird situation. So those are all the diaper accessories that I could think of off the top of my head. If there are any more that you guys want to mention, leave them down below for anybody who's new to cloth diapering and wants to hear about all of the options out there. These are just the things that I thought of, some of the things that I own and use on the daily. So I thought it would be helpful to anybody who's just looking into cloth diapering. I know it can be very overwhelming in the beginning sometimes because there is a lot of variety. There's a lot of options. There's a lot of brands. There's a lot of stuff going on on the internet about cloth diapering. So I know that it feels like a big Big, giant overload when you first start looking into it but I promise once you get into it it's not as scary as it seems so I hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy and I'll talk to you guys next time bye